This is vandalism. Not vandalism. <laughs> Good, clean hearted fun. Time for stories to start. I'm sure that smoke smell in your car. <laughs> yeah, well. Touché, touché. The NCAA has officially added criteria for agents who wish to represent student athletes testing the waters for the NBA draft. That criteria now includes a bachelor's degree. LeBron James referred to this new rule as the Rich Paul rule because his super agent, Rich Paul, does not have a degree. Nick, what do you make of this move by the NCAA? It's classist, it's elitist, it's totally unnecessary, it is obviously targeting Rich Paul. And while I don't think this will have any negative effect on Rich and his agency, Club Sports, which is now part of UTA, because they have plenty of other agents that do have to have a bachelor's degree. Yeah, well, but, that means right, but, no way. but it, it is trying to prevent the next Rich Paul, trying to prevent the next person who does not come from a traditional background from becoming the most powerful agent in basketball. It's targeted, and I... I talked to Rich yesterday. He doesn't want to talk publicly about it. He said enough people are talking for him, but it's offensive what they're doing. You know, I didn't talk to Rich Paul yesterday. I talked to myself, and when I saw it come out, I knew it was some form of racism. It's called institutional racism. So now you can discriminate based on education. Well, Bill Gates, he, he's pretty smart. He don't have no degree, right? Steve Jobs certainly does. Yeah, and, and didn't. Bill Gates doesn't have one either. Also, Chris Carr doesn't have one. I got offered an NCAA coaching job. Uh, so you can coach the kids, but you can't represent them and represent their contracts in the leagues if you, that, that doesn't make sense. And listen, I want to, because it is important kids are protected from predatory agents. So having a test you have to pass is totally legitimate. And, but adding this prerequisite to just try to prevent someone who doesn't have a traditional education is an outrage. Shalom, on, yes, I want to get infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kar Kodash. I want to give the honors to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shai, exposing this devil, uh, fishing for the elect, being a light to the Gentiles, man, and pronouncing judgment on this place, you know, as America, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, on this clip, man, we I'm going to expose this devil, man. I'm going I'm to I'm do as we command it. Be a light to the Gentiles and tell them the truth of the scriptures and tell them who their enemy is according to the scriptures, man. And tell them about, tell you, um, brothers, about this place, America, man. Now, as you can see, man, uh, this guy, Rich, uh, this guy, Rich, LeBron's agent, all right, he has came in the game without any form of education, all right? And he's came into the um the age um the NBA being an NBA agent and has uh done ground break breaking work since he's came there. All right. Over the years, agents has took uh guys to the bank, has fucked them and rawed them out. He came in for his people. He's doing it carnally, of course, for a corruptible crown. But he's um got guys multi million dollar uh contracts. And showed them how to keep their money and don't lose their money, all right? And he's just a nigga that just came, read a few books, and learned the game. That's it. He didn't go to school to learn it. And these devils hate it because he's, this guy's representing John Wall. He just got Trayvon Green, 100 mil, LeBron James, and many others, man. All right? And what's going on now, he's, he's put on a campaign against the NCAA. He said, man, we got all these Israelites. Generating all their money. Now, he don't know that they are like, all right? We got all these so-called Negroes, all these five-star, four-star players um, generating hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars every weekend, all right, and week in and week out, and we're not paying these guys nothing. All we're doing is, for the most part, giving them a $65,000 uh, so-called free education, and we know that 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 is degeneracy to be um educated in the west all you're doing all you're learning how to do is become a degenerate have the mind of esau all right so it's really a curse but they're not going to do that we're talking on the corner plane all right so these guys make that six to five thousand look at zion williams man it is zion williams bought in millions just for one year so if he, he, he that little uh that that um tuition he paid for that Three games in, man. Ticket says you had celebrities paying them highest tickets to come see him play, man. All that jersey he had was just then generated millions, man. All right, the TV sales went up 
for people to look at him. He's a phenom. Okay? And he's generated all these hundreds of millions of dollars. And he ended, he didn't, he had to go to the NBA to get paid. But when he he was making NBA money, generating NBA money as a a, a, a player in the um in the NCAA, and this guy he just he's blowing the whistle saying, nah man, this this is a travesty, man. All right, this is an injustice. And since he did that, the NCAA passed a law saying that uh a rule saying that you have to be a, a college graduate. To be uh to talk to the players in the NCAA for uh to be their agent, all right. So that's to cancel him out and and guys like Lavar ball out, all right. So they so they can uh have control over the players. And what's sad, our people see that and they don't wake up, all right. This is our enemy. This is our devil. This is not this devil is only this is a, a devil. He's only going to let you get so high. When you get too high, he's going to shut you down. This is his system. All right? He's only going to let you get so high. This is his system. All you can do is cry racism and, 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 and go uh, pick it, make signs and pick it, singing, we shall overcome. That shit don't work, man. You've been doing that the last 60 years, and they're getting worse. That shit don't work. You can get on TV and cry bloody murder. They're still going to do what they're doing. All right, you have to call out to your Habashim Shai, come back to your heavenly father and your great king and ask him to destroy and rebuild, man. This kingdom has to be torn down. As long as this devil is reigning rule, we're always going to, these type of things is never going to stop happening to us because they're cognizant. They know we're enemies, all right? You so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latin-speaking people, y'all don't know that that's your enemy, and he keep doing things that only an enemy would do. Okay, you you niggas gotta wake up, man. LeBron James tweeting and shit, man. That shit not gonna do nothing. Next you gonna hear they done did something to him. Next you gonna see that they done stole all his millions. Something fucked up didn't happen to him. Or he gonna get caught in some kind of rape case or something. This isn't our arrest, man. This devil lets you get so high only to kick the, the chair from under you. All right? This is uh, Micah chapter 2. Uh, and 10. Arise ye and depart. All right? And the Most High is telling us he's going to deliver us out of here physically. He wants us to change our mindset. He wants you to know that this is not your friend. This is your enemy. He wants you to know... The way that you're living here in America, this is not your culture. This is not your customs. We're spiritual people, man. We, you have to get off that corner plane and tap into the spirit and power your high by Shema and Shai. For this is not your rest. Because you make a few million in this society and you live in comfortable, this isn't your rest. When we're in our rest, we, our laws are going to govern the planet. All right? It's going to be righteousness is going to reign forth. All right? We're gonna be, we're gonna have Israelite supremacy in, throughout the universe. We don't we're not gonna have to go and, and, and complain and and, and and pick it, make signs and walk through the city saying "woe is me" and asking the devil that committed the atrocity against you. You going to Washington and you're marching for him to have mercy on you. You want him to get hit? How how is the devil that got the the, the rules, he's laid the laws of the land that are against you. You're going to go to him for justice. He's the one that implemented the laws that have you in a position of servitude. While well, these injustices are permitted to happen to you. And you're going to go to him for justice? That's an oxymoron. All right? Because it is polluted. This place is polluted, man. You're not going to get a fair shake in this place. This guy rich ain't getting a fair shake. He's trying to uplift his people, bring his, and he's doing it on by corner means, of course. He nothing spiritual about him. He don't know his nationality, all right. But he he's calling himself trying to uplift and help his people. And when you do that, this is what they do: they destroy you, all right. Now, if another phenom phenom pops up, it'll be illegal for him to go talk to that phenom and tell him, "Look, I'll be your agent, man. I, I help you generate millions where you can take care of your family." 
All right, they've outlawed him because he came against the NCAA saying, man, you need to be paying these guys, man. These guys generating all these millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars, probably goes into the billions, and, you, and you, you're not paying them a quarter. All right? It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. And ultimately, man, the devil's going to... These devils is going to kill him. He keep If he keep it up, you're going to find out he's in jail or he's going to end up dead. All right? But the most high thing he said when this place was destroyed, he's talking about when you think like these people, all right, and, and, and you're protesting, asking them to help you, you are destroyed, man. You're supposed to, when you, when the enemy comes against an uh, uh, Israelite, an uh, Israelite is supposed to call out to your high about Shema was shot to deliver him, man. Okay? You're not supposed to go protesting and doing all that madness. This is Luke 1 and 68, man. It says, Blessed be the power of Yasharala. Yahweh is our power. He's our redeemer. He's our defense. All right? That's who we're supposed to be crying and lamenting to. All right? We're not supposed to be hollering racism, this, racism, that. We're supposed to be asking Yahweh about Shema Shai. Take the devil down that's coming against us. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Come redeem us. Come give us recompense. Have mercy on us, Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And he raised up a horn of his salvation for us in the house of his servant David. He gave us a power. He gave us a power for king. Take us to the king. All right? Our king is going to come vindicate us, man, when these type of things happen. That's what he was supposed to be calling out to. And he spake by whom the, by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been seen since the world began, that we may be saved from our enemies. Only an enemy would do the things that happen to us here on this continent, man. You got to know this devil is your enemy. And from all that hate us, from the hand of all that hate us, he hates us, man. He hates us. Look at his actions. We could do more than cry racism, racism, and start protesting and picking and sh No, call out to your eye about your mouth to vindicate you. All right, the scriptures say in the book of Thessalonians is a righteous thing for the most high to re recompense tribulation in them that trouble us, man. That's what we're supposed to be doing. They, we want recompense to them that are troubling us. We want to do them as they've done us, man. All right, this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 6, and it reads, All right, reward her even as she rewarded you. All right, that's what you should be asking for. You, you shouldn't be asking for them to give you justice. You would never get justice from a so-called white man. Justice? What, what is the meaning of justice? If somebody kill your son, then that, their son end up getting taken. Uh, they end up getting taken. All right? An eye for an eye is what you call biblical justice. They take out both your eyes, and then when you want a, to be avenged and you want recompense, they tell you, don't render evil for evil. Are you going to be just like them? What about love? If you do what they did, if you that that's the philosophy here in America. If you do what they did, you're no better than them. Now you on trial. You the one that's been raped, pillaged, and murdered. So if you want to avenge that and get recompensed, they put you on trial. You worse than them. They not even on trial anymore, man. Well, man, come on, man. The Most High raised up a remnant of men, man. That's not not drunk off this Western philosophy, man. The scriptures say, and double unto her, a double according to her works. All right? And he, the most I say, don't just get payback, but get them double. All right? If they took one of your children, take two of theirs. And the cup which he have filled to, to her double. And this is according to the scriptures. This is not according to our own belly. I'm just reading what does say of Yahweh by Shema Rashad, man. All right? It's a book of Psalms. Uh, Book of Psalms, 37th chapter, one of my favorite chapters. We go to seven verse and it reads, all right, rest in your house and wait passionately for him. But what are you waiting on? All right, you waiting on him to deliver you. You waiting on him to come to come deliver you out of the hand of your enemy. All right, so therefore you're supposed to be praying and asking him to come get you. Asking him to keep you protected when this devil come down on you with great wrath. Fret not thy, thyself because him who prosper in his way. This devil prospering in his way, man. All right? He changes his own laws. That devil had those laws governing the NCAA. 
He don't want to put those laws in play. All right? Our rich deal was synchronized with his system. Now when rich is starting to get so big in the system, now he's going to change the laws. That's what this devil do, man. Only a devil would do that. Okay? Now is a problem when the so-called black man is uh, flourishing in your system. Well, come on. Let's, let's throw a monkey wrench in the system. Let's change the rules. We can't let that happen. This nigger is making us look bad. All right? Because of the man who bring wicked devices to pass. That was a wicked device, man. All right? That's a wicked device. But what are our people going to do? They still going to come eat out the so-called white man's head, wanting to eat the crumbs that fall off his table. We're going to go, we're going we to tear that table down. All right? And take what the other he got in his tape, in his, in his, is uh, on his table. We're going to take it. That's what the scriptures say. According to Isaiah, the 14th chapter, the second verse. You're going to take those captives whose captives you were, man. All right, we're going to spoil them like they spoiled us, man, according to the scriptures. All right? We're going to let their wicked devices fall on their head. Okay? This is ridiculous, man. Jake, you need to wake up, man. And the most I'm about to shut shit down. You can see it through this power. The spirit of Yahweh by Shema Oshai, man. Our salvation is not, man. This devil's system, although this small potato that I'm bringing out, I'm just showing out the characteristics and the traits of your enemy, man. Your enemy is not going to let you get, he's going to let a, a, a nigga get so far, man. He's not going to let you take over. If that guy rich, Israelites, man, we the best at whatever we do. This guy's winning the agency game, he become the best. All right? You throw a Jake up in soccer, he's going to become the best. Even on a wicked plane, a faggot. If you throw a faggot in the faggot tree, he's going to be the most flat boy and faggot on the planet. Whatever we do, we do best. All right? We do we, we cook the best. You put a, you put a Jake in skiing, he's going to become the best skier. We, we just don't like the cold shit. You let a Jake gain a love for skiing and watch, he be doing 360s in the air and shit. Doing shit no skier but for him ever done. We're the form of all the things, man. We're the salt of the earth, and this devil envious at that. This uneducated guy read a few books, got into the agency game, and became and, and, and broke records when he came into the agency game, and the devil hates it. He was doing what agents before him had never done, and the devil hates it, Okay? scripture I'm looking for. Here we go. This is Wisdom Silent 2, 2 and 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latin-speaking people of the earth, you, you, you natives, y'all so-called Native Americans, y'all live on the reservations here in America, shitholes, all right? When this whole continent was once yours, you, you, you Latin-speaking people, y'all throughout, y'all on bodegas and in, integrated in the hood with Jake, with Judah. And Judah, y'all in every shithole ghetto hood in America. All right? Y'all are the poor. And a remnant of your, of, of us, Lord willing, we're in their number, are the righteous, of the poor. But all of Jake is poor. All right? You just got some well-nourished slaves. Uh, LeBron James is a well-nourished slave. That's it. He's still poor. He don't have no power. He don't have no might. He can't move or shake nothing. He's not a mover or a shaker. He has to do what Master tells him. If he get out of line with Master, Master will strip him of everything he has, man. Like those he's done before them. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let our law be the law of justice, and it's their justice. All right? They do their wickedness by unrighteous decrees, man. That was the unrighteous decree set by uh, the, the uh, NCAA, man. For what which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. All right? So you pass lies on you, laws for you feeble niggas, all right? And keep y'all down low in the downtrodden estate. Downtrodden estate where you're worth nothing. 
All right. So uh, this guy, they don't want him to be a trailblazer. They don't want what he did. They don't want other guys to come up behind him and do the same thing. All right. So you, you guys, you got to learn, man. I, I've been doing a lot of sit downs on this lately. You have to know your enemy. Part of the truth is knowing who your enemy is, man. You got to know your enemy, man. Hyenas and lions are natural born enemies. They will never get along. Now, in the kingdom of heaven, they would get along, all right? Uh, all the predators are going to eat straw. They say the lion will lay, lay, the wolf or the lion will lay with the lamb, all right? A child will be able to put his hand in the cotton trice den, so on and so forth. There won't be no killing on his holy mountain. But right now, man, you have not your born enemies, man. The so-called white man, the Hebrew reader, might, is your enemy, man. Just because he come to you crouching, smiling, showing teeth, bearing gifts, man. He imagined him to throw you in the pit, man. Never trust this devil, man. He's your enemy. And I don't see why people can't see it. Look at his actions. Don't listen to what he say or what he says, but look at what he does. He do. This is your enemy. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shinoa Shai. All right. Beg him for mercy in your time of need, which is right now. And uh be a prisoner of hope, man. Lord willing, we're in that number to, to go walk march into the kingdom in those twelve gates, man. Written about in uh, Revelation the twenty first chapter. So with that I'm gonna get if and honest to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem and Kakutash. And give double honest to our teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone. They are worthy of their double honors. And salutation to my fellow laborers in Yahweh Shah, pushing his true cross of four winds. Kwam Yasharala, a Baba Bomb.